Hey boys, how's it going? I'm celebrating the holidays off today, but uh, watching my boy Michael Malice and Lex Friedman, <laughs> always entertaining. I think he's been on there like five fucking times. So I was actually kind of disappointed to see that because I had plans today, but shit to do. But, you know, just hold off on that because I got to listen to this for three hours. And some of those plans included making a video. And I saw this piece of shit. You know, you got to be careful out there, guys. There's plenty of pieces of shit. And ladies, this video is for the ladies. Watch out. I mean, the idea that this dude pulled up to her and she just got in the car and went with him. I mean, the man... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Look at this fucking... If I saw this man walking down the street, I would call the police. I heard some cop make a joke about that. But this is like literally... The sort of dude you saw walking down the street you should fucking call the police. Just because of his appearance. The dude filed down his teeth and, like, has face tattoos all over. Th like, he looks like a fucking, like, somebody that was a clown and on meth and hadn't gone to sleep for, like, six days tattooed this dude's face. And, uh, I don't know. His name sounds foreign. I don't know. Here we go. You know, I love shitting on foreigners. I don't know if this is a foreigner. Mandy's got another story. We have these fucking people killing babies and to try to keep their... I, I don't even fucking know, dude. I, she's going to send me the story. Sounds really disturbing. But, I don't know. From time to time, I guess I'll make crime videos. Fuck it. So, listen to this, this <laughs> dude. I'm telling you the details of this case because I want to make it very clear. These are the kinds of things that happen in Genesee County. They happen in Flint. They happen in Michigan. They happen around the country. Filed down teeth. What the People fuck? People that had dude? teeth that are filed down to points that are threatening to rip out the throat of victims. It happens. And that's the case I'm going to tell you about right here. I'm going to take you through actually the whole process. God damn. Because I want you to be aware that grooming started this tragedy. And then it led into being barricaded in the house. It led into multiple... I don't know. I've read this. It doesn't... His definition of grooming... I mean... Okay. This poor woman... I don't understand. I feel bad for this poor woman, but if that dude stopped his car and offered to help, I would be like, fuck you. I'm not getting a car with you. Well, ...sexual assaults over a three-week period of time by this guy right there. Look at that Michael mug. Barajas. Barajas. Yeah. Look at that mug. You would get in a car. There's something wrong with you. You get in a car. I mean, it's almost like a stupidity tax. Like, I, I'm i joking, by the way. But, like, you got in a car with that mug right there. Are you fucking kidding me? At some point, you're kind of responsible for yourself, you know? And, and I'm not trying to, like, blame the victim here, clearly. But, I mean, have some fucking common sense. Ladies... You get kicked out of the house. And she was pregnant, too. This piece of shit. He sees a pregnant woman and walking down the street and needing help. And what does he do? He fucking, like, pimps her out, rapes her, you know, like, human trafficking. What did you expect? What, what sort of fucking, like, job prospects does this man have? <laughs> 36-year-old male. 36-year-old piece of shit. Points. Here's what happened on the week of Thanksgiving, 2022. Of, co of course, it was Thanksgiving as well. Thanksgiving. This guy's... <laughs> God. 20-year-old victim who was kicked out of her house, was walking on the street, had not had a shower or had hygiene in several days. A vehicle pulls up, sees the vulnerability, and offers a shower, food, warmth, and she accepts, gets into the house. Is that like his, like, is that his definition of grooming? Because that's just desperation, dude. I don't know, like a desperate person. And she was pregnant, dude. Throwing pregnant year old bitches or 20 year old pregnant bitches out on the street. It's pretty harsh. I mean, I don't know what her family's like. Obviously non-existent, but no, yeah. it's really fucked up. It's very similar to this. And as soon as she walks in, She's now barricaded. And i tell you what they did. They locked her in a door in a room after they tied her to the bed. 
We, we've got the rope, we've got the bed, and then we got these kinds of locks. These locks right here, with the lock on the outside, this is the kind of room that she was housed in and she, until she was rescued on the 8th of December this year. That's crazy, man. You ladies be careful out there. You dudes too, man. Out here at UC Davis, the Mag Hulk event. Yeah, that's another story I should cover. Um, but yeah, just a fucked up, like... It filed down his teeth and just, wow, okay, a 36-year-old Michigan man that filed down his teeth in custody is in custody after police discovered he kidnapped a vulnerable woman, sexually assaulted her for three weeks, and threatened to rip out her throat if she didn't do what he told her to. And that was in quotes, obviously, you could see. Genesee County Sheriff Quist Swanson on Wednesday revealed disturbing details of the case at a press conference that led to the arrest of Michael Barajas, 36, on December 8th. Swanson said Barajas had filed his teeth down to points and threatened to bite the victim and rip her throat out during the course of her three-week imprisonment, which sounds like a fucking nightmare, obviously. Um, wow. There are people out there, man. They're just fucking evil, dude. Like, people are not good. People are capable of very evil shit. But this motherfucker... I mean, this queerly, some meth head, I think they found him with meth and like ecstasy or some shit. And those people are dangerous. They're fucking scary. Avoid them. You see motherfucker looks like they're tweaking, been awake for several days, can't have a conversation with you. Certainly don't get in the fucking car with him when <laughs> you're desperate, dude. Like, uh, uh, Baratus has spotted the vulnerable walk woman walking down the street alone and pulled his car up. He offered... A warm shower, a bite to eat, and a place to stay. The victim accepted, not knowing that she would be repeatedly raped in traffic for the following three weeks. Look at that mug. I'm sorry, dude. Like, you get in a car with that guy? Uh, it's, it's, it's not, like... It's... I, I'm walking a fine line here. Like, you need to be responsible for yourself. Ladies, if you see, like, some shady dudes walking down the street, cross the other side of the street. Like, don't be stupid. Don't be a victim. Get a gun. I mean, I don't fucking know. Like, this woman clearly, you know, she was at the lower end of Maslow's, you know, needs, hierarchy of needs. But, I mean, you could do better than that, dude. Don't accept help from these fucking scumbags. Once the pair arrived in a dilapidated home, Baraz allegedly locked her inside a room and tied her to a bed. Genesee officials said they found the rope at the scene. The victim's room had exterior deadbolt. And the windows, of, well, it's supposed to say home, were screwed shut. Barras repeatedly sexually assaulted the pregnant woman because, of course, he's a piece of shit. And had other people come over to sexually assault and traffic her. This guy used the opportunity not only to sexually assault, but to have people come over and traffic her as she was tied forcibly to the bed while they assaulted her. Yeah. Swanson said the woman attempted to escape the dead bullet room three times. The first time she ran out the door. Barras and other suspects chased her down, firing shots at her. Damn. A second attempt to escape also led to her uh, recapture on December 8th. The victim suffered a medical emergency related to her pregnancy. Some nurses came to see her, and essentially they realized that she was in you know, needed help, and then the police showed up. Barras threatened that if she didn't do everything that he told her to, that he would bite her neck and rip out her throat. Yeah. What a gem. <laughs> Sheriff held up a photo of Barras and then showed his teeth, which appeared to be filed to sharp points. Groomed a woman, I don't know. That's uh, He even forced her to write a letter where she described Barajas as her daddy. Okay. This guy's a monster. Yeah, we know. So the nurses came, I guess, the I don't even know. He brought nurses in. She... And they clearly called the police and they arrested his ass with meth and ecstasy. And the dude is going away for a really fucking long time. They're trying to find out anyone else that was like at the house and had anything to do with it. But these are the sort of people that you could potentially run into, man. I saw people that fucking look like this. Like I'm a dude, you know, but like my woman, like walking home or, you know, we lived in the shitty neighborhood. Like I wouldn't let her walk home by herself. There's people... You never know, man. People, fucking meth addicts, perverts, fucking losers, ruin your life because they want some pussy. And of all the people, like on Thanksgiving and a pregnant woman, it's like, of course, this piece of shit. Look at him. 
motherfucker. And I'm, I guess, I mean, where can I go with that? I gave you the story. I gave you some like moral repugnancy. <laughs> Just be careful out there, ladies. I'm sure not many ladies watch my channel, but you see some dude like this and you're in a tough spot and he's like, hey, pulls up in his piece of shit fucking Lord knows what car this dude drove, but he pulls up and he's like, hey, I'm here to help you out. I'm <laughs> looking out for you. Why don't you just come over? Yeah, we'll have a good time. Put on some music. Get some grub. Take a bath. Yeah. And then you end up getting fucking raped for three weeks and trafficked. And what a nightmare. Ladies, you see a dude that looks like this? You see dudes. Don't trust dudes. Dudes are fucked. Like, yeah. Don't trust anybody. I don't. With that, I'll uh, go ahead and see you in the next video. I appreciate anyone that got this far. And I hope all of you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.